Rate problems. To solve problems involving rates, we're going to either be multiplying or dividing by the rate. One method that works is first of all to identify the rate and express the units of the rate as a fraction. So for example, if I had a rate of kilometres per hour, I can then turn that into a fraction and write it as kilometres over hours, which still means kilometres per hour. So to find the top quantity of the fraction, we're going to be multiplying by the rate. And to find the bottom quantity of the fraction, we're going to be dividing by the rate. And this is a method that always works. So let's have a look at this one. Noah hires a small car for $42 per day. How much will the cost be if Noah keeps the car for 16 days? So the car rental is $42 a day. So it makes sense that for 16 days, to hire the car, it's going to be 16 by 42. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to go through that in slow motion. So I'm going to say it's $42 per day. Here is my rate. And the rule says up here to write it as a fraction. So I'm going to write that as dollars per day without any units in there. Just going to write the rate out as a fraction. So now I'm going to write down what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find the higher cost. What is it going to cost to hire the car? And to do this, we know that we are trying to find the cost. So we're trying to find the top part of my rate. And the rule says if we're finding the top quantity, we have to multiply by the rate. So we're trying to find the top. So we're going to multiply the days by the rate. Okay, let me just fix that up. Days by the rate. So we're going to be going 16 days and we're going to multiply the rate which is $42 per day. And what you could do is whilst I'm writing this out is you could quickly get your calculators out and see if you can get the answer before me. So we're going 16 times by 42 and the answer to that is going to be $672. And because it was a word question, you should have a word answer. So therefore, it will cost Noah uh, $672 to hire the car for 16 days. So looking at this next example, Amy sends the fruit she grows on her farm to marketing cartons that hold 12 kilograms of fruit per carton. So here is my rate, 12 kilograms of fruit per carton. So if I write out my rate, that's the first thing I'm going to do. So it's 12 kilograms of fruit per carton. There is my rate. How many cartons will she need to pack 180 kilograms of fruit? So remembering that we now write our rate as a fraction. So we're now going to do kilograms per carton. Now we write that out as a fraction. And that will help us to know exactly what we have to do. Now, it makes sense that if there's 12 kilograms of fruit per carton, if we're going to pack 180 grams of fruit, we need to know how many times 12 kilograms goes into 180 to work out how many cartons. So I'm going to do a statement here that says number of cartons, because you should always tell the examiner what you're trying to do, it makes marking much easier. And we're going to do mass divided by the rate. So up here, this kilograms is mass. I could just do that here. Because we're trying to find the number of cartons, the bottom part of a fraction, our rule says we have to do a division. So we're going to now do the mass divided by the rate. So this is going to be 180 kilograms divided by the rate, which is 12 kilograms per carton. And whilst I'm writing this out, you could pick up your calculators and hopefully get the answer before me. And the answer should be 15 cartons. And because it's a word question, we do our word conclusion. Therefore, Amy 
needs 15 cartons to pack 180 grams of fruit kilograms I should say of fruit so that's it from me thanks for watching and hopefully I you can listen to me next time